Welcome back everybody. Okay, we've uh, we've installed WordPress. Our site's looking pretty much like a website these days. Obviously, there's a lot more to do. So, um, in order to make our site look more like what we want it to look like and to also get it to do what we want it to do, we need to upload some themes and plugins. I'll talk about more of the, about those later. Okay. So to do that, we need a file transfer or an FTP program, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. And what this does, it actually transfers files from your computer at home or at the office or wherever across to your host or the computer that holds all of the files for your website. Um, program I use is FileZilla, as you can see at the top here. Now I'm going to try to actually get a copy of this and stick that on the website for you to get access to to download. Otherwise, just go into Google and type in FileZilla. Um, you can download this for free. It's not one that you have to pay out money for, which is good. Um, and it's quite simple to use and I'll take you through the steps now. Okay, this particular um, video is really just going to be about getting it set up ready to go. When it actually comes to transferring the files and so forth, I'll show you that in the next um, videos coming up. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. I'll just try to move this over a bit. Okay, click on File and then Site Manager. Okay, so here's all the different websites I've got access to, but we're going to do one for Michelle Green Coaching. So you can call it pretty much whatever you want, as long as it's something that you'll that you'll remember and that will know relates to that site. Okay. Now in this section under Host. You type in um, FTP dot and your URL name. Okay, I leave the port as is, I leave FTP as is, and then I click on normal. So here I need to type in my username and password. Now these are the username and password you use to get into um, cPanel. Okay. And I normally just click on save and exit rather than just connect just to make sure that it's all in there ready to go. So you can actually go file and then site manager or if you want you can just click on this button here. It does the same thing. Okay so here we have Michelle Green Coaching. As you can see it saved everything for me so I don't need to type in the password or username or anything like that. How cool is that? And what we're going to do is connect. Now I can either double click there or just click on connect here. It's up to you. Okay, so as you can see, all of a sudden we have a heap of files listed here, um, as well as what we had on the left hand side. Left hand side is our computer at home or in the office. This side here is the host where our website files are kept. Um, you'll find that if you're going through HostGator, your root directory or your main directory will be under public HTML. Um, if you've installed WordPress in a separate directory called blog for example you would then need to click on double click on blog here to get what I'm seeing in front of me now so just bear that in mind um, as you can see here we've got all of the WordPress files here WP admin content and, and includes we'll be using um, content a fair bit very soon um, the other stuff we probably don't use so much but um, yeah we'll talk about that in the following videos so we'll see you then